Hello, welcome aboard, episode 14 now. Hello subscribers, friends, casual viewers, colleagues, uh, video that's been recommended to you, sharers, all that good stuff. Hello, would you believe 2,000 subscribers, woo -wee. To my pokey little channel, I am flabbergasted, I'm flattered, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for your continued patronage and visiting of my nonsense. Today, it's 8th of February, Tuesday, half 10 in the morning, with arm paper and oh, 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 plastics, hello, good lord, twin pack vehicle, 2015, nice, nice, come on, there we go, alright, so he's taken an empty one that I'll leave on the back, I'll sort all this mess out, so, twin pack recycling today, three man crew, uh, not worked with these chaps before, but they're doing a jolly good job, safe and uh, efficient. Whoop, come on. There we go. Hello, hello. Cool, cool, cool. Come on. Oh, what a waste. So we'll quickly bang this on, and whilst this is uh, whoa, unloading, we'll sort this one out. Oh, come on. I'll sort that, my guy. Thank you, chap. Cool. So, unseasonably warm today, 13, 14 degrees. Look at that. Life is well. I've even taken my thermals off, would you believe? Ugh. Come on. Shoot will start here for you. There you go, geezer. Enjoy. So, twin pack vehicle, two lifts of plastic, one lift for cart paper. Because uh, it's a bit of an older motor, we've had to turn it off and on again a couple of times already because just the buttons would stop working. Uh, errors, errors, errors. There you go, geezer. Oi. Please enjoy. Cool. Morning. Morning. Good to stroke or will I lose my fingers? fingers. Julie noted. Any other time I would then. How old is this distinguished looking fella? I'll give it a go. Come on. Hey, see? It's all good. He's all bow. Ain't a lot of people. <laughs> hey? Cheeky wee pup. He's just a grumpy old man now, though. It's quite tall for a Jack Russell. Yeah, he's a Parsons. Oh, legs. Uh, okay. <laughs> all the way up the top, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he's a bit intrusive. Well. Hey, man, no. I, I invite this on myself. <laughs> Sniffing is how dogs communicate. I'll get down to his level. Ugh. Hey? What's his name? Maxwell. Good looking dog. <laughs> they got enough room, they can wait if not. <laughs> this is much more important to me. Yeah, they're good, eh? Oh, he likes you, privileged. I've had numerous people tell me that. <laughs> got to have the uh, right attitude and good energy about you. Hey, dog. He's a good lad. Hey? 
I met a staff uh, ball lurch kind of thing a few minutes ago. So I was, and and my dog, I suspect he's getting oh. ground. Twelve years old. Got a yeah, oh. he's a good lad. He's got, he's got a puppy. I was just wanted to do it a while ago. She was quite the uh, lorry. I, I yeah. would be as well. She's only well, just come out four months old. Well, ground. Uh, she's a husky cross cocker spaniel. Hmm. But okay. Oh. <laughs> Bit awkward. Thank you indeed. You have a good day. There is always time to meet dogs. I'd, the work can wait. So compacting, uh, I don't suspect we're going to see a great deal. Yeah, that is. Seven years old, a bit dirty. So we'll give you this view instead. Yeah, whenever uh, weather permitting, unless it's like thundering down and rain, but you won't see a dog outside anyway normally, uh, always ingratiate myself with dogs. Uh, a very part, uh, a small insight to myself. I used to be terrified of dogs, shakingly cross the road, push my friends in the way, terrified of dogs. Um, and it was quite crippling in that it took a lot of opportunities and uh, confidence away from me. But now that I've overcome that, our living best life. I so it's only a wee fella, but it was, I know he was old. I could see plainly that he was an old fella with a grey muzzle but um you, yeah you, as you said you could well get your fingers bit but go in calm no worries all that good stuff cheeky wee sod and uh you'll be fine i'll chuck it by this hedge where this uh ford ranger is we'll chuck all the matey stuff on as well yeah dogs man and lady if anyone oh, I'm, I'm not gonna get in that gender argument i don't want to hear it um it's not, it doesn't matter who you are, how you identify, it's your character, attitude and your actions that mean more important to me than your uh, identity. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, got a lot of time for woofers, rotters, shepherds, mastiffs, whoa, boxery, staff, dobermans, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to rip my face off and... Uh, Scratching my head and all that good stuff. It's like climbing on me, I mean. Yeah, I do like a dog. I'll always approach if, uh, even in uh, plain clothes in public, walk along. Morning. This is a normal exchange. Morning. May I stroke your dog, please? What? Can I stroke your dog? Oh, uh, uh yeah, okay. It normally meets people met, I met with confusion. But, nah, man, dogs are blessed. It's probably a bit perturbed now. She sees me talking to myself. If I'm talking to you, lovely viewers. Cool, cool. So, compactors, near side, off side. Doing both simultaneously. I imagine this reverse has been done. I'll roll forwards, man. Yeah. So we got the equipment, I've got a gearbox, I've got an engine. Why walk longer than necessary? So I'll hang it to the right a bit for a passing traffic. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Mirror, camera, and brake neutral at the motor. Three points contact on exit. Safety, safety. Yeah, by means of an unspoken agreement, they bring me a full bin, dump it, and they take the empty bin that I've uh, tipped previously. At no point was this, this issued as a uh, set of instructions, but it's working very well. We're making good time. <laughs> This morning, we somewhat had a delay, got to the work. There was five bins on the vehicle, two, two, stacked together with like a bungee cord, one on its own. Get to the work, these are cardboard bins. What do you mean? Same size, isn't it? Went, no, no, look, screws one in them. Of the five bins on the vehicle, only one had these screws. They've got some like um, Torx drive uh, heads and like cross thready bit and all that good stuff. Basically, it's a, it's a Phillips screw of a special head. Ah. Oh. So, another 20 minute round, 20, 30 minute round trip to the yard to uh, take the bins off, see if we could scavenge some in the yard that had these screws in. And if and there was, we added some more. So, for example, this one we had like one, two, three, four. So we added extras and did them paired up as well. So that the, um, extra strong, if you will. So two sets of controls, left hand lift. Yep, close enough. Ordinarily, you wouldn't want it on that tooth, but for the purposes of this drive, 
Actually, I will just take the moment to uh, lift it up. Come on. There we go. So look, that's a bit more robust and stable. Uh, less that come off as I'm driving down the road. So three points of contact, frame, handle, feet and feet. Onwards. Oh, we'll let this person go because they, they won't allow me to continue. Probably doing her out shortly. Full. This is why I keep impressing on people. Check, check, check your mirrors. Way too fast. Zooming about. What if, some, what if a kid had been riding a bicycle across there? Mug. So I've got one colleague. That looks pretty clear. I can see another colleague through the edges. So we're zooming, we're zooming, we're zooming. So when we get to the bottom of the road, we shall reverse up the gravel. And uh, I can't imagine there'll be a great deal down there. So I reckon, yeah, drop the vehicle here. That's not worth running for, but I'll go backwards and help my colleagues empty their bins. Ooh. So I'll quickly drop the, the, mid, the uh, middle lift. A bit more, a bit more. I'll sort all this. Cheers, dude. This is plastic, paper, paper. All right, cool. Brilliant. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Making progress. Get the next one ready in anticipation. Cool, cool. There you chap. Cardboard, paper. Yeah, same thing, innit? I've got nowhere to put it now rather than chuck it in someone's bin, so we'll mix it. They'll filter it out. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, we'll hold that up then. See if that's spilling all over. So near side lift again. I don't even know why I'm wiping that. It's not going to do nothing. Please, please do continue. Yeah. You have a good day. Yeah. Well, I'll let him do their thing and then I'll check again. So let's do the offside lift while I was waiting for her to continue. So I'll turn both autos off. On, on, off, off. So yeah, look, this is what being looks like. Crushy, crushy, hydraulics, many bar of pressure. I think about, operate about 200 bar. Is that simple? Good, they've done. So I'll do the near side lift again. Mmm. Offside sound like it's doing something, the near side weren't too keen. So, yeah, I can see the round make moves. So I'll drop this bin slowly. Cool, cool, cool. So much narrower channel let, gets uh, filled up less often. Plastic, very space hungry, wasteful, needs more space. So yeah, it really is quite that straightforward. Uh, to those of you that uh, use this as a tutorial, oh yeah, magpies, got to salute them. Morning, Captain, how are the wife and children? Um, yes, to those of you who use my videos as a tutorial or as a means of an insight into driving, class two, recently passed your test, all that kind of thing, flattered, thank you. Uh, these aren't filmed expressly as tutorials or a means of a how-to, like a wiki how kind of thing. Um, do as I say, don't do as I do. Um, I don't profess to be any sort of professional driver so I've chucked it reverse let her get to the side of the road so she's appeared in my near side mirror now off side mirror is clear um, pick up the small dog come on girl that's better thank you um, yes driving straightforward enough but obviously of course I've got I'm looking for the jaundiced look of I've been doing it a while and I'm still doing it in present tense for a new pass driver um, I would if it's been offered to you Give it a try. There we go. Ugh. I say I'll very quickly sharpen up your reversing skills after the test. Because not all reverse situations are like that. 
I was like, you'll, you'll soon see how different it is. I need to do anything on. No, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, so there's clearly a problem with this, it's uh, sodding around. But this would be a good insight into a uh, cool. There we go. So look at that, crushy, crushy, crushy. Bit more, bit more. That's it. Hydraulic pressure, scrape it up over a shelf, crush it back. So I'll raise this up, get this one empty, then that one. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. Sick. Right, great quick slurp of water before we continue. So, class two drivers. Uh, if this gets off to you, give it a go. about straight over what the next right hand turn yeah 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 cool cool through check when you pass the pedestrians. Don't get them sucked under the wheels. Oi, oi, oi. I know I'm conscious there's younger viewers watching. Yeah, for those of you who've recently passed your test, passing stationary uh, street furniture, parked cars, pedestrians, especially vulnerable ones, wheelchairs, elderly, disabled and what have you, kiddies as well. Always follow through with that near side check. Because a lot can go wrong and whilst you're still present here, you can do something to resolve it. It's too late once it's in the past. So I take a right on this roundabout. Two signals going for the left, got a learner, they'll have to wait. No indication, but he looks like he's turning left. Yeah, he's too busy on his phone, that's why. Are we coming back this way? No. Do this now? Yeah. Beacons. A bit more, bit more. We need to really get out, you go about halfway up, yeah? Uh, big trees. Like the big tree on the horizon. White House. Yeah. 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 Sure, dude. Yes. Um, Woohoo! Obviously, it sounds a bit odd that I'm talking to myself. To yourselves the viewers thank you for coming but of course i've got people with me but i can't demonstrate this stuff without it actually happening hence whilst talking whilst there's pedestrians uh right so he's on the, that side he's on that pavement offside indicator on we're zooming keep the beacons on because we're still it's still a illusion that there may well be stuff going on nearby you drive along in your car listen to the radio or, or more often the case starting about on your phone oh why is there a flashing light vehicle nearby and hopefully the thought process should be, ah, there's likely to be people on the pavement nearby with bins. That is not what these people think. To all the people that have, uh, frankly, shoveled praise on what we do, and indeed myself, oh, I do appreciate it. I do love heart the positive comments and say thank you in words to these uh, positive contributors. It's appreciated, it's a hard job. Um, right, right now I'm sodding about walking outside, but it's not all uh, tickling dogs and sodding about and having fun. I say there's some damn hard work involved every day. And to all the people that have said thank you and appreciate what we do, it means a lot. Thank you. Excuse me. Right, we'll walk the sack to the motor and I'll walk it back because it's vaguely near the driver's door area. I don't mind walking it back and forth. Ordinarily, I would not walk that far with stuff I've got to return. So, oi oi, old Chevy. So, three, loose stuff. 
Yeah, I'm disheartened to hear that some of you uh, suffer a local collection service whereby the loaders, workers, case in point, come on, get in there, uh, dump stuff on their own and just drive off. That's totally unacceptable. You are meant to be, you, the loaders, or way fresh, or whatever work terminology you want to use, you may be improving the state of the area, not making it worse with your contributions. Not much, but it needs doing. Um, yeah, it's, it's not right. If it was like pooey nappies and liquid waste, then I can kind of understand leaving it behind, but if it's stuff that can be easily picked up, nah, not on. Really, it's unacceptable to how we're looking. Do I think this is one big driveway for the same gaff? No, it's two separate gaffs, so we'll check in a second. Hey. We'll quickly empty this one. Good. Oh, we are. A bit of love and generosity coming up. Oh no, it's gone. I just said a, a, a hearty good morning. Sacks are fine because they're way down with magnets in the bottom, so we'll come back to them. Uh, nothing doing. All good. So what I'll do again, ping my bin off in anticipation of matey's arrival and uh, keep this stuff moving. We'll empty his bin and hopefully by the time second colleague on horizon will arrive. Left. Pardon? Left. Yes, indeed, driving left. Sorry, I misheard that. I thought he said five left. What the hell is he talking about five? Understood. We'll have to move this out of the way, but I'm not playing in the road. So, yeah, has this job. No wave, no smile, no generosity of spirit. Just checking it's been done. I'm just well sod. Um, that's quite common, that contemptuous sneer, as if I'm somehow under you, like subhuman species scumbag. Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait. Come back to that. Yep. I've seen it, mate. He's already walked off the road, so there's no need for two bins to be walking. So that'll do. Just do a quick compaction on both. Whilst we've got to wait, wait to take a seat. So the job, no experience necessary. No qualifications needed. Just a uh, deep seated will to keep pushing on. Get up each morning, get do, do the job. Mm. level fitness. So I've got the offside indicator on. Start rolling gently, see if the Range Rover lets us out. Yeah, true to form, I didn't think they would. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't expect them to let me out. That near side on, checking the offside. Might have, won't need to grab that lane, but always got cautious what's trying to overtake you as you're slowing down. Near side, corner, curb mirror, hanging it wide, foot covering the brake, don't know what's coming up the hill. Cool. So I'll quickly help make you empty this one again. A bit more, a bit more. There. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Sure, you want an empty one? Bin. All righty, yo. Ah, thank you. That could have gone better, but I'm putting the effort in. God damn it. Cool. So yes, HGV2 driving, anything over seven and a half ton. If this were a four wheeler, i.e. four corners, so two axles, it'd be an 18 ton max gross weight. With a drop axle, only one tire, not a 20, i.e. wheels mounted up to beside each other. 26 ton gross weight. Uh, we won't be getting near that today. It'll be volume, i.e. the puffy expansion of all the uh, plastics and car paper that shall take up the space of lorry, not the weight of the stuff. I've seen it numerous times now. I'll slow right down to have a look. What is that? Almost like a VW uh, Scirocco from the 80s, but some sort of weird body kit. Right, so I'm going to spin it here, reverse down the hill. 
<coughs> excuse me, so hazards, beacons again, rear fog light. So clear, there's signs there that says, uh, <sighs> no motorcyclist or driving through that gate except for access. So it's extremely unlikely anyone's coming, but I'm still be very cautious. So roll the vehicle gently, checking the mirrors, alternating between the two. No need for camera at this point, not that it's uh, much better than a Game Boy in terms of resolution. So a bit more, a bit more, right, cool. So driving this, once you pass your test, give it a try. Um, some people last a matter of, well, some people can barely do a day. A bit buzzy at mirror. Uh, some people can barely do a day's work, i.e. we've had people and by the afternoon, they've had enough and you will not be seeing them again. Uh, others, I say diehard people that do it for like 20, 30 years, it's all they know. Indeed, there's a guy here I worked with a couple of months ago, uh, drove his round for a while. He's been here 27 years and this is the only HGVs he's ever driven. So, strokes for different folks. It's okay work. Uh, it's not for the weak hearted, it's not for the uh, lazy. You do have to put a lot of work in each day to get the job done. But I'd rather this than delivering pallets. Absolutely. Um, pallet multi drop work. Awful. I hated it. Uh, that for a couple of companies, be it home deliveries or warehouse, industrial states, all that kind of business. Good lord. Terrible mess. Uh, normally very poorly organised, certainly ain't loaded in a manner that's safe and proper. Exchange, exchange, my guy. There you go. Down here? No, 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 I got it. Thank you, though. Yes, um, yeah, pallet works Christ awful. And for the, if for some reason you're a HGV driver and you're watching HGV driving videos, you must very much love the job. I say, Christ, I, when I get home every day, I try and switch off and forget about all this. If you want to watch more of it, then t credit to you. And indeed, if you are a HGV driver, class one, class two, uh, horse boxes, whatever. Tell us what you do, give us some insight. I dare say, join me in making videos and ouch, sharps, and increase the peace amongst the motoring public and help people to understand what we do, why we do it. I'm not driving slowly because I'm trying to antagonize people, get in the way. It's unfortunately a very heavy vehicle, it can't go fast. Or why are you blocking that? Hurry up, I've got to get to school. Well, I've got stuff to do as well. And it'll probably benefit you if I'm allowed to continue to do my stuff. Superb knotting there. Um, yeah, I say in the comments, please. I, I mean it sincerely. Whereby, give me feedback. Tell us what what you do. What you do for a job. And if your employer allows it, or indeed if they don't allow it, do it anyway. If you're a cheeky sod. Show us what you do. Um, that is the point of this platform, YouTube, to share ideas and experiences and conversations so yeah hgv you got your class two you just passed your test 2022 the uk is in crises um massively understaffed empty shelves trucks ain't moving warehouses are bursting now granted this is not a supply chain problem but this job class two uh, refuse management waste management bins whatever you want to call it I'll have to come up for this other stuff because this is just a hell of a lot of stuff going on. I'll come back for all the rest of this. Um, yeah, this is still a very important job. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Do it with gusto, it'll fit. Yeah, it's a very important job. But, oh, the way I often get treated with derision and disrespect and frankly dangerous behavior. People fully mounting pavements, nearly hitting my colleagues drive around corners, blind bends on their phones, give me the horn and wave, give me the coffee beans, as if I've done something wrong, and I'm well within my lane. So you're the one that's level with my seat. Um, yeah, give it a try. So class two waste uh, refuse management, home every night, local area, if it's for a council or if it's for a private business, it'll be wherever the work is. If it's like a trade business, i.e. restaurants, factories, so on. Um, straightforward to do, however, can be very hazardous now in a very clear and present danger every day of crush injuries and uh, falling, tripping, slipping, sharps, 
So you'll know I'm only picking these bags up by their knots. Do not hug a sack because you do not know what other people are putting in. We've had, had pe we have had people here jabbed with sharps. Indeed, a while back, a guy had a needle go into the uh, surface of his hand by grabbing a sack. So yeah, we ain't worth the risk. So another compaction, offside, near side, paper, plastic. So there's like a little bit by the driver's door. Whilst that's sodding about, I'll quickly get these wee buggers. Continue. So they've done that whole street now, but I had a lot going on. I'm talking to you a lot. I say it's not as if I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, enjoying a good old day on the grass. I'm working, I'm doing stuff. Um, yeah. So it's normally, well, most HGV jobs have a relatively early start, say five, six in the morning. If you're lucky, it might be a seven or eight, but that just means you'll be staying out later. Unless you're very fortunate, you've got an easy job whereby you only do like one delivery a day, a couple of hours driveway, and the, the time is wasted in getting it offloaded. Cool. Yeah, straightforward enough. Give it a try if you've been offered it or you're mildly curious nothing ventured nothing gained if you don't try you'll never know oh. knees or a bad back, I wouldn't even entertain a flying. It's very physical. Have you done all up here then? No, I can't move security out. Yeah, okay, so it looks suspiciously empty. A bit more, bit more. There we go. Yeah, it's a very physical job. Oi, oi, 928. 968, sorry, it does say on the reg. Um, it's a very physical job, especially recycling. Because you're carrying sacks. If it's a cardboard sack, you've got a cardboard or paper sack, you got to pick it up, turn it upside down, just shake it furiously to get it to empty. It's a physical job. So we're creeping gently because I expect the cars just to get overtaken me. Yeah. Poor lip, poor number plate. Yeah. Still gonna keep overtaking me with HGV oncoming. Falls. So I pull in, get matey stuff on board. Might have to fold this mirror in, but it should be okay. So and brake neutral. Yeah, just a courtesy. Come on. Here we go. We'll fold it in. Got a hand and a wave for that. Wasn't necessarily uh, essential, but just take a few seconds. A Ferrari of some sort. 348 or something. Give him a flash and a thumbs. Any acknowledgement? Nothing. So I'm a scumbag bin, but not I appreciate your motor vehicle. Nothing. Whatever. Nice car, not a nice man. We come back this way later, don't we? No. Okay, so you want to do both sides as it comes? Yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's mostly on this your side now. Yeah. Brilliant, good and safe. Oh, 
Everyone's on a bad die. That break down surely. I ain't gonna be no use in a uh, RTA situation. So I can't stop my car. Yeah, I know because your battery's in the footwell because you crashed it so hard. Um, yes. So. So although I could very well get and help do every single bin, it'd be more viable if I stay in the vehicle and do short hops. So class two bin driving. Pay's not stunning. It's only, uh, Jesus. Fucking hell. I know I shouldn't have sworn just then, but none of that needed to happen the way it did. Good Lord. Um, Christ above. So this is why I wasn't eager to get out, and that's why I was a bit concerned that we were going to be doing both sides, because these ain't going to slow down in the slightest. So class two, refuse driving. Pay, not great. Hours, yeah, they're okay. Uh, overtime is not abundant. Keeping an eye on the camera and the car at this point. Just give me a little poop to say there's a motor coming. Um, but you're at home more often. The hours are sensible. It's basically day work. So, for instance, in my example, uh, today we get paid 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. Hopefully, I should be home a lot more, a lot earlier than that. Good morning to you. Um, yeah, but it's it's an okay job, straightforward enough. Uh, all right, cool. Check, check, check. In. Nothing doing. No, cool. First one's mm. now there. And indeed, mate, yeah, I'll sort these. You cheat yourselves when I go, look at them. Fellas, hazards. There you go. Right, we're zooming. So, a lot of stuff going on here now, it's way too busy. Um, so, be extra cautious. So, I'm dealing with live traffic. Like I say, I've got no uh, precedent or priority over these people. Is this a heavy sack? Is that why it's torn? Yeah, that'll hold. Oh, Christ, these aren't even knotted. No effort's been put in. I don't need to knot it. I'm only walking a few metres away, but I'm not having this spilling all over and that's a, a new problem I've got to deal with. There we go. That's a bit better, a bit more robust. So I'm getting a few quizzical looks from my colleagues so far. So it's the very first time they've ever met me or worked with me today and I'm already talking to myself and you yourselves at large, the viewers. Come on, girl. There we go. Thank you, lady. Bruh. There we go. Um, yes. Yeah, class two refuse work, not bad. It's the only HGV driving I've ever enjoyed. If I wasn't doing this, there we go, I wouldn't be driving trucks. I've, I've, I say I've had my license 10 years, I've tried numerous things, and this is the only HGV work I've ever enjoyed. Uh, again, you may, some of you watching may uh, disparage that or say that I'm wrong or whatever the case may be. However, this is my life. It's first lived in the first person. Don't live through you vicariously. So I have found this the only HGV work I've enjoyed. Uh, and that's not to say it's always enjoyable. I say there's good days, bad days. Of course there is. But if you want to give it a go, grab at it. Calling out for drivers all over the place. Straight down, yeah? Yeah. And what return I got there? No, I do have it. Oh, good show. Touch. How fortunate. Oh, Where the garage is, you want to pull in on their that on side. their full court, yeah. But then pulling away is going to be pretty poor because there's going to be a hedge block, in my view. Yeah, I'd rather roadside confuse the people behind and then lean across and give me a beep if there's any issues. Ooh. Yeah, this ain't great, but I'll sit it this far back. I say, give me a beep if you see anything come that I haven't spotted. Mirror, mirror. Right, we'll let these people pass first. Good for planning, everyone. It's not ideal, this, but I don't get to choose where the work is. Two more, and then we're going. Cool. Yeah, normally when I do bins or, uh, well, I've not done this area on recycling before. When I do 
black or brown bins. And then we go down one, down on the left, come up on the left, i.e. nothing on that side, do all the stuff that's around there. And then we do this in return journey. But this ain't great, is it? Oh. See if we can't grab it. Come on. There we go. And launch it in there. There we go. So cars behind. Yes. As expected. Don't look at her. Because that then increases confusion. And she'll think I want to go. I.e. Oh can I go? No, you go. No, I insist. Ignore. Let them do their thing. Stay safely behind the motor. Yeah, it's a bit naughty this, isn't it? A bit hectic. Yeah, wonderful. I mean, there's another one shortly down here in a similar position, isn't it? Where he was just there in the biker. Wonderful. Not great, though. At least you can see both ways clearly. So, this is the realities of waste and. Uh, local pickups so it's not all just driving down a house and state with your loaders running around behind you sometimes you the driver has to get involved as well yeah i deem that clear enough yep i say we're not coming back in this direction so i can't delegate it to them later on so i've got to do it now uh, i'm not going to get them to run across the road when it's nearer to me so I'll give these a chance to continue this is real life like i said i've got to walk around in traffic pick up waste Recyclables. Does that sound like a good deal to you? I tell she was going, to, it's only a 40 mile an hour road this, I believe, for sure it is. 30, 40, there's a repeater sign up there. Um, far too fast, and yeah, as you just saw on camera, drifting over my line. Cool, cool. And this is, this is the stuff I'm talking about when people are just stupid. There was no need for her to drift onto my side of the road just then. I've just spotted a cyclist behind us. Um, yeah, it's the nonsense I'm putting up with every day where people just pay no mind to their safety or that of other people. In a crash, yeah, my knees might get a bit bent up in the uh, wreckage, but I think she would come off worse, hitting this thing head on. Not here, we do the next ride, don't we? No. Oh, we don't go down there? No. Nice. Right, 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 right. Sorry about the uh, silences, the creativity has somewhat lapsed from my mind, plus I've got people with me, don't confuse them. Cool, cool. At least it's recycled and not in the black bin. But I don't think they'd fit it in there if they wanted to. Yeah. That is a goodly amount of waste for one house. Unless they've had multiple poolside parties. I don't know how the hell they've created that much waste in a fortnight. I'll show you. I'll show you. Even if we arrive now and that was the pile, I'd be like, 
saying, saying something, but yeah, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm stated. Can I take one can? Come on, if it's contaminated, no problem. Oh. No tins in the plastic, I'm afraid, house owner. It's not laziness. We're not contaminating the recycling stream because of your silliness. So what else can we talk about as a uh, content creator? <laughs> Content, Jesus, you call this content. Um, as a vlogger, video content creator, whatever you want to say, basically but the conversation between you and I, i.e. you look at your screen right now, you're probably like, oh, your eyebrows might have shot up there. Um, what can we talk about? It's 10 past 11, so this video's been about 40 minutes long at this point, I imagine. Uh, 40, 45 minutes? Um, yeah, I didn't, I'm just going to put the has indicator on and gently start rolling. Good. I didn't expect them to keep waiting. But we're avoiding that bend, aren't we? Or do we go in it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in it. Very good. Yeah, ordinarily on black bins, follow the bend to the right. There's a crescent at the top. Come down and we come down this road. I've not been up it before. So that's cool with me. We'll get rid of the drink. We'll come back to that. He doesn't want to lift. He's good. So HGVs, CPCs. CPC is not really a very interesting subject. Um, do your initial CPC when you first pass the driving test. So you would be taught about how to use tachographs, rest hours, uh, weekly rest, uh, <laughs> strapping, load security, vehicle security, terrorism, all manner of uh, subjects that are pertinent to the job role, whatever it is. HGV driving overall, it's all going to be relevant. Um, Get your blue card, you must always, always, always have that blue card on you if you're driving for a living. Good. So it looks like a driving license, but it's blue in colour, certificate of professional competence. And on the rear face, it has what upgraded licenses you have. So if it's bus and truck and what have you, then you're allowed to drive for a living doing them. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. It's a fancy wallet. Oh, come on. Uh, no, sorry, it's meant to go that way. You're laughing. Yeah, that's what I said about turning left and right oh, yeah, forwards. No, oh, Jesus, man. We'll come back to the card later. I'm going reverse now. But luckily, I've got a clear line of sight. Did I not say left or right? You said forwards. Like, mm, it's no problem. Dude, it's all good. It's all cool. That's how quickly we resolve it. Go that way to Danville now. Yes. Oh, that's the worst one. Yeah. So, not necessarily plain sailing, but it gets better from this point on. Oh, wee! There you go, girly. That's why you cut this sodding hedge down and keep an eye on what you're doing. Way too fast a situation. Overtake me in an island. Naughty boy. That's a risk he wants to take. Oh, um, right, let's quickly do his card thing. See if his gloves will allow me to do it. There we go. So, look. That's what it looks like. So, in two years' time, I've got to complete 35 hours training to uh, continue working as a driver. I've done two or three sessions, seven hours a pop. Each one's, uh, well, seven hours, so seven by three, 21. So I've got two more sessions to do to get my 35 hours in. Uh, if I was employed, they'd put me through it. I'm merely just an agency scumbag, so I'd have to do it out of my own pocket. Uh, it's been a while, I think it's about, 100 odd quid a session. Cool, cool. But man, we'll take Jesus. Is that a silly bird from a minute ago? Or well, a very similar car. Yeah, There's only a 40 down here. Not 140. There might be one more on your side. I fully expect so, because normally me that's to run across the road to drag a bin out. Oh, we'll cover the foot brake. Optimistically, decent. Any less is always welcomed. So definitely don't want to turn left here, no? No, uh, keep going to down, yeah. Sure thing. Oh, by Oak Corner Roundabout, is it? That one? No. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. That's not to say there are no more on this road. 
Yeah, okay. All lights are off. Cool, cool, cool. So as I mentioned earlier, got to do the follow through check. So holding the line, pedestrian, mirror, dog ain't been sucked under the motor. So we'll gently roll on the throttle again. Right, we're shooting. Uh, did a little fade out there, bit boring. It was just a quick drive to get to a new location. In real life, it was about a five minute drive, but it'd been in silence and it would have been boring to watch. So there's plenty of videos and channels out there that do uh, driving only videos. So I shan't waste your time with that. So CPC, I've done three sessions of five before 2024. What's he doing? Um, so we've got 14 more hours to do, two sessions. Oh, this is looking a bit hectic, it is. Dude, come on. Um, I don't condone that kind of business, but hey, if that's how he wants to operate, feel free. But keep it safe, man, Jesus. Good. So, creeping, creeping, creeping. Didn't think Pass Force was going to wait, even though he's got oncoming traffic. <laughs> yeah, I know, she was shaking her head as well. Don't blame her. Fancy looking gaff. Hmm. So, driving. If you're viewing this without a HGV license, with a view to getting your license as a result of what you're seeing here, not all the glitters is gold, or rubbish in this case. Um, I've driven them before, I've driven one of them vehicles. Not great. Um, yeah. You'll very soon find out whether or not it's for you. Now it's probably just pull up round before I have to wait for yeah, yeah, it's just over my shoulder here. Are we doing alright here then? No, don't do that, do you? Good. It's basically everything this side, but we'll come round. Yeah, 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 yeah. anti clockwise. Main so the main road first. Come, turn on the right, turn on the left up here by Tesco's. We'll turn in by the garage, do that, and come round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main road out a little bit up here. Job done. Okay. Couple of hours work, I reckon. Not bad. Tasty. We we're doing okay. Got our brake bar. Brake needs to commence by ten to one. Twelve fifty. Yeah, we have it about twelve. So we get a bit of done Have you got food and drink with you, or do you need to go to a shop? No, I'm right. Cool, cool, cool. Good planning. Fail to prepare. Prepare to fail. So he's chucked it in. He's he's uh, raising the fella. Oh, excuse me. He's raising the other fella. Man, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> cool. Tony! <sighs> Come on, girl. Come, Come on. on, you bitch. Get going. There we go. See all these words of encouragement? Okay. Spurred her on. Yeah, oh, no. Oh. Right, right out. Yeah, good. Fuck you. Foot is welded. There we go, there's some progress. Always there, fuck. Not on view. Um, I realise this isn't necessarily the most dynamic of videos, so there's not a great deal going on. Uh, had I started recording much earlier now, it would have been much more busy and hectic and crazy of me. Because I, I, some of the comments that you've, some of you have posted, you like the commentary, but you also like when I'm out back doing stuff on the lifts, loading, rather than just driving around. But where we are now, say, we're all gonna, it's largely one side of the road, so it's not gonna be a great deal that I can do to uh, assist these chaps. So you have to listen to my waffle for a short time. Yep, yeah, well, the offer was there. Not having you lot walk longer than necessary. Not as if you're not no. doing enough steps a day as it is. I'm not walking now necessarily. No. So, engine and gearbox and wheels, that's what that's for. Okay, bit more, bit more, bit more. Right yes, there. definitely a bit more. Right yep. Overshoot so it's level with the back of the motor. <laughs> there you go, my guy. Please enjoy. But, um, yeah, I've not necessarily exhausted all the things there are to say. But when you're doing it off the cuff, no script, and I'm trying to think of what I've said in the other videos, all 13 of them indeed, um, 
without any sort of repetition or retrending of old ground. Indeed, that phrase, I believe I finished the previous video off with. RTI, roll forward. Um, but yeah, driving is okay. Um, much what I said in a, uh, is it episode nine or 10? If I was to do my life over, would I do class two? I'm not sure I would, you know. It's, it's brought more hardships than joy. So, yeah, it's, it's not great, but beats working in an office or a warehouse or a shop. As I'm outside, fresh air, I've got windows, I've got heating. I'm sitting down for most of the day. It's not great for your body, but relaxing. Right, it's a sedentary roll. Positivity. I don't know, what good things can we talk about? What can we say that will increase the levity of this cab and myself? Get people talking in the comments. So you want to avoid this left turn now? Unless you want to go in there, do that, and then come back out. Yep. Yeah. Okay, right, we'll let the uh, Superb go first. We have to grab a bit of the offside lane to make this swing. Come on, come on, come on. Beacons back on, indicator on. Come on, Gil, make the swing. Ooh, there we go, a bit more, a bit more. There we go, a wee bit more. Come on, fella. Yes, you're gonna have to wait. I'll do everything behind. If you wanna grab bins and shit. So, something to talk about books and reading. Tell us in the comments what do you like, who do you like, what do you like to read about. I'll go first. Tom Clancy. May he rest in peace, truly an extraordinary author. Uh, read quite a few of his piece works. Um, and indeed his audio cassettes, very well uh, produced. Definitely not going fast on account of her now. She's gonna have to wait with that snit, snooty attitude. You're waiting. So Tom Clancy, about uh, 10 years ago when I first passed my HGV, I was working for a courier company. What are you shrugging shoulders for? Silly woman. How was we had your seatbelt on? God, what a mess. What a disgusting piece. Um, yeah, so back in 2012, uh, HGV just passed. Sitting on my lunch breaks all day, looking at the phone, and this is before like decent smartphones, so getting bored. Thank you, friend, for waiting. Uh, for Christmas, my mother bought me a, a copy of Tom Clancy's A Hunt for October. Truly extraordinary, but wicked. It really did get me back into reading. Um, extraordinary story. So published in 84, I believe. And then there's a film with the same name, 1990. Sean Connery, may he rest in peace. Alec Baldwin, Scott Glenn. Uh, other actors are in it, but the names do escape me now. James L. Jones, Admiral Greer. But yeah, Tom Clancy, so Hunt for October, Red Storm Rising, Without Remorse, brilliant book. Uh, Clear Present Danger, Patriot Games. You go in there. Yes. I'll clear to the end and come back. So we exit this way. Yeah. Got ya. Dude, you have a bit later when we come Yeah, back. all cool, man. All good. Uh, yeah, Hunt for October, uh, Red Storm Rising, Without Remorse, Clear and Present Danger, Harrison Ford film. Uh, Patriot Games, Sum of All Fears, brilliant book. Really. Thoroughly recommend that one. Very long old fellas, over a thousand, I think it's about eight, nine hundred, maybe a thousand pages. Brilliant, brilliant book, love that one. Uh, Bear and a Dragon, that was very good. What else, what else? Executive Orders, Debt of Honor. I hope I'm not missing out. That, the main, uh, Cardinal of the Kremlin, that was a good one. About getting the uh, Golovko, was it, was it Golovko? Someone in the KGB high up, the Kremlin, uh, the Cardinal, sorry, here's like the top, source that the CIA had in uh, Moscow. And they get him out of the country, brilliant book. And there's also, I seem to remember there's like a war going on between the Afghans and the Russians in the uh, mountains. And there's like a radar installation. It's all like the start of Goldeneye. That's what I've got in my head when I'm thinking about it. Brilliant book, love Tom Clancy. I say, dearly departed a few years ago to cancer. Really do enjoy his books. Rainbow Six as well, mustn't forget that one. John Clark, counter-terror uh, organization. Um, Jeffrey Deaver, 
ex-lawyer, author, uh, probably most uh, like book you're most likely to have heard of is The Bone Collector. Denzel Washington film of the same name from the late 90s, early 2000s. So Lincoln Rhyme is the protagonist of the series. He's a uh, quadriplegic. He's only got movement in a ring finger or index finger. And his neck, so his C4 vertebra, got crushed in a uh, collapse of a building at a crime scene. And he's a forensic analyst, anal analyst, Jesus, or criminalist or something like that. And uh, he consults the New York Police Department. Brilliant books. Really, they're true page turners. We'll come back to that. Um, yeah, they're a fantastic series of books. But he's done, he's done others. Uh, Catherine Dance series, Sleeping Doll. I don't know, this person has no clue what they're doing. Uh, Sleeping Doll, Roads Like Crosses. Whoa. She's a uh, kinesiologist. She, uh, Oh, come on. There we go. Hello, face reveal at 2,000 uh, subscribers. Good to see you all. Nice to meet you. Um, the video, original video had a few more minutes at the end. I don't know how it's been cut off, but this just little bit's been recorded to say thank you for viewing today. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and look forward to seeing you all again soon. Uh, post many comments in the uh, box down below and see if I can get back to you and have some discourse amongst ourselves. And uh, have a good day. Cheerio.